Hi. Do you like reading? Me too. My name's Rachel and this is my reading room. Come on in. Where I live, it's going to snow today. And do you know my favorite thing to do when it snows? I like to go sledding. This isn't my real sled. This is a decoration, but it's fun to use your imagination. And in today's story, Little Rabbit's Christmas by Harry Horse, Little Rabbit loves a red sled he sees and he might just get it for Christmas. Let's find out. Little Rabbit's Christmas by Harry Horse. One Christmas Eve, when the snow lay all around, Little Rabbit saw something that he really liked. Look, Papa, a beautiful sled. Papa agreed that it was a lovely sled. When they got home, Little Rabbit told his mama all about the sled. It is red, said Little Rabbit, and it goes whoosh. Mama asked Little Rabbit to help his brothers and sisters decorate the Christmas tree, but Little Rabbit did not want to. Instead, he watched the snow falling outside the burrow. I wish I had a sled, he sighed. That night, Mama tucked Little Rabbit into bed and read him a story. She told Little Rabbit that if he was good, the Christmas rabbit would leave some lovely presents in the stocking at the end of his bed. Will he bring me a sled? wondered Little Rabbit. He did not think that the red sled could fit in such a little stocking. Go to sleep, Little Rabbit, said Mama. Who knows what the Christmas rabbit will bring? The next morning, his brothers and sisters got up early. Wake up, Little Rabbit, they cried. It's Christmas morning! Little Rabbit was very excited. He looked in his stocking. He found a bouncy blue ball, a yo-yo, a pair of mittens, but no sled. Where's my sled? asked Little Rabbit. Little Rabbit looked under the Christmas tree to see if the sled was there. Then he looked up the chimney to see if it had gotten stuck. He even looked under Mama and Papa's bed. It's not fair cried Little Rabbit. I only wanted a sled. Dry your eyes, Little Rabbit, and look outside, said Papa. It was the red sled. Little Rabbit was so happy. The Christmas rabbit came, he told everyone, and he brought me a sled. Papa tied a rope on the sled so that Little Rabbit could pull it across the snow. Put your mittens on, said Mama. It's cold outside. Mittens are for babies, Mama, said Little Rabbit. And he ran off into the snow, pulling the red sled behind him. Everybody loved the red sled. It's mine, said Little Rabbit. The Christmas Rabbit brought it to me. Molly Mouse wanted to ride on the sled, but Little Rabbit would not let her. You are too small, he said. You might fall off and hurt yourself. Benjamin and Rachel also wanted to try the sled. You are too big, said Little Rabbit. You might break it. Little Rabbit did not want to play with Benjamin's new toolbox, Rachel's new paints, or Molly's new snowshoes. Little Rabbit was so excited about his new sled that he didn't want to share it. It's not fair, said Little Rabbit. Everyone wants to play with my sled. So Little Rabbit took the sled far away to a place where he could play with it by himself. Little Rabbit pulled the sled up a hill. Whoosh, down the hill he flew. Look at me, he cried, but nobody was looking. I'll show them how fast I can go, said Little Rabbit. So he climbed the biggest hill he could find. Whoosh, down the hill he flew on the red sled, faster and faster. Look out, cried Little Rabbit. The sled was going too fast. He flew through a hedge, over a frozen stream and then, crash! Little Rabbit flew off and landed in the snow. 
The sled was broken. Little Rabbit climbed back up the hill, dragging the broken sled behind him. It was such a long way back up to the top, his nose got cold. His little paws got colder. He wished that he had worn his new mittens. The snow got deeper. Little Rabbit got stuck in a snowdrift. Help! cried Little Rabbit. I'm stuck! Molly Mouse came running. Don't worry, she said. I'll help you. Hold on. Molly Mouse put on her new snowshoes and pulled the little rabbit out of the snow. Benjamin and Rachel came along. They looked at the red sled. It's broken, said little rabbit. I can fix it with my new tools, said Benjamin. I can paint it with my new brushes, said Rachel. Little rabbit was so happy. When the sled was mended, little rabbit's friends helped him pull it back up the hill. When they got to the top, they all climbed onto the sled. Hold on, said Molly Mouse, and they flew off down the hill. Look at us, cried Little Rabbit. It was the best fun he had ever had. Again, cried Little Rabbit. They played with the sled all day. When the sun was setting over the snowy field, Little Rabbit invited his friends home for a Christmas party. Little Rabbit helped Papa light the Christmas candles, and they danced around the tree and sang carols. They played games and ate delicious food. After Little Rabbit's friends left, Papa carried him to bed. Whoosh, said Little Rabbit sleepily. Christmas is good, Papa, but sharing it with friends is even better. What did you think? Was it so fun to learn about Little Rabbit and how he learned to share? I thought so. If you enjoyed this story, be sure to subscribe to Read Along with Rachel where we can read more. And remember, if you have a book, you have a friend, and I'm your friend too. And Baba's your friend too. Bye!